time I used to feel that life is just going out of my hand. But this uh, program was doing, and the fasting accelerated, I think, the speed of uh, thing, uh, you know, mental and emotional uh, imbalance. And now I feel that uh, okay, you know, uh, everything is now in my hand. I, I feel that I can take charge of things. So that was a huge shift uh, throughout the month. I was diagnosed with two big size of uh, fibroids in uh, around the same time lockdown last year, and uh, due to some extensive heavy uh, uh, extensive exercises and physical workout, one and a half years I went through hell. I tried everything: Ayurvedic, uh, homeopathy, Siddha medicine. Uh, everything I've tried everything and it just didn't work. I also tried uh, hormone pills for three months, and that just uh, thickened my wall and uh, had some complications. So a friend of mine suggested to do this program, and I did this program. I was still going through hell during the program. There were many days in the program my video will be off because. I'll be going through so much pain and cramps that I'll be lying down and uh, I cannot even attend the program properly. I was the the situation was really bad. As I followed uh, the diet that they are uh, suggesting and medicines and uh, supplements, just the lifestyle. Um, I would say that I was just de determined that okay, fine. I asked doctor how much time it will take for for me to heal, you know. So she said about four to six months. I said okay, four to six months. I am going to devote myself to whatever they are saying. So I went through, and every month it was definitely difficult, but every month it started getting better. Since last month, there is no pain. I mean, there is. I don't know. I mean, it's not. It's like. Uh, not less than magic for me it's bearable very bearable i would say no pain yes bleeding is still there but it's changing i would say every month i see something a drastic change aisa nahi hai ki thoda thoda change ho raha hai it's a drastic change so i don't know mai jitna kahu utna kam hai but i am ready to share how much ever possible i am willing to do and i just hope that you you take this step and uh, just go through the program so as we are waiting for few more people to join uh, i would like to raise this question is there any specific reasons for uh, anyone to be here today in the program anyone who wants to answer that anyone has few questions after listening to the testimonials Uh, yes, Miss Masuda Begum, you can unmute yourself and ask the question. Hello, hello, can you hear? Yes, me? yes, we can hear you. Yeah, actually, like you know, I just joined, so I didn't, I couldn't hear all the test. Uh, we were That's talking. Fine. Uh, but just uh, I was uh, interested to join this group as one of the reasons is well, even I have fibroids and okay. uh, I have been trying uh, like other treatments, but it's mm -hmm. nothing. And that's one thing and definitely uh, weight loss. And I have been also joined for my son, this uh, functional medicine, and uh, I'm doing okay. some and that has been uh, helping me to reduce some weight. Okay. Uh, and also like for a lot of hair issues like because my hair is falling a lot so like these are the three things that which uh, I'm really interested to learn more about this and mm -hmm. it's going to help me okay so you said that uh, you are already aware of this program because of your son so you are aware how lifestyle and diet changes are bringing about so many difference in your entire family is that yes. correct correct yes. yes 
So uh, the same concept that uh, we want to go into the root uh, analysis, the root cause of the condition that you are also having, why you are having this fibroids, we need to understand that, address that, and then gradually and eventually everything will get sorted. So as you go through the webinar today, you'll understand that everything has a root cause. Okay. So uh, we'll take the other questions after the webinar. Meanwhile, uh, I would like to uh, raise the first poll of the webinar today. So everyone can just leave your answers here. Everyone can leave the answers of the poll and we'll begin with the webinar. We'll wait for some more time for others to also finish. Then we can start the web. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Welcome to our session of Rediscovering Your Health. Most of you joining us today have faced problems in areas of diabetes, PCOS, thyroid disorders, autoimmunity, obesity, and gut health. We are here today to address these issues via the functional medicine approach. So welcome. I am Dr. Ratika, a functional medicine clinician. So joining us today are two experts in the field of functional medicine. Dr. Ruhi Agarwal, I welcome you. Uh, she is doctor by profession. She has done her master's in global health and certification in functional medicine from USA. She is co-founder of Functional Medicine Clinic and has successfully reversed hormonal imbalances in more than 1,000 women. Dr. Ruhi, I welcome you. With us today is also Mr. Siddharth Goel. He is a functional medicine expert and health coach. He is also a hot yoga trainer. Dr. Rohi and Dr. Uh, and Mr. Siddharth are creators of the Hormone Reset Program, which is a unique program exclusively for women. So let's start the session. I will hand over to Dr. Rohi. Thank you, Ratika. Uh, just give me one second. Yeah. So thank you, Ratika, and thank you all of you for being here. And um, thanks for answering the poll. And we could see that there are, uh, you know, around 30 to 40 percent of you are here with some kind of autoimmune condition and a couple of them with the hormonal imbalances, others with thyroid disorders. And um, we are very sure end of this webinar, you'll have a lot of takeaways which uh, you can start implementing as well. And also you have a better clarity on what you can do about all these health concerns that you're facing. So to start with, I want to start with the most common myths that all of you, all of us hear all the time. The first one being 
about the periods you know we see every woman today struggling with period pains cramps mood swings acne breakouts and you know because everyone around us is suffering from it so it's just assumed to be very normal but the truth is it's not normal it's not something that any woman has to go through um, a healthy period is pain free it's uh, it's not a cumbersome time during that uh, during the month it it should be as natural and as uh, you know just normal you know it shouldn't be like an endurance for every woman the second most common myth is anyone suffering with pcos or uterine fibroids or endometriosis or any other hormonal imbalance a hormonal pill is given as a solution but yes that, that's not the the only solution and that's not a sustainable solution as well it's a bandit fix which we give to our body as a result of which our uh, you know our hormone our hormones are taken over by the synthetic hormones uh, but and you know if we really want to be healthy hormonal pill is not a solution it brings in more um, negative results than you know than doing any good to our body the third most common myth that we all hear is the period is it's all about fertility it's all about having a child right you should have your regular periods you should ovulate all this is only about fertility but again that's not true periods are one of the most important sign you know in the, for a woman uh, to be healthy and it's so much connected with the rest of the entire body it's not just about fertility it's about how a woman feels uh, every day it's about her productivity it's about her hair it's about her skin it's about so many things so it it's not just about fertility and it's not something which is isolated from the rest of the body it's very much connected to to all the other organs to all the other symptoms that a woman faces every day now how many of you are here to lose weight or are struggling to lose weight Okay, I see Ramya says yes. Pragya, how to consistently lose weight? We'll get to, we'll get there. So now, conventionally, um, losing weight has been, you know, considered about you eat less and you work out more, and that will result in losing weight. But unfortunately, that's again not true. Uh, the mathematics is not so simple, uh, and it's much more than that. What we eat is not something you know that easily you know gets um, absorbed by the system and you know it's it's not so simple it's so it's a, it's a lot more than that and if you are really putting on weight and you're it's difficult for you to lose weight it's actually a sign that uh, you know there are much more deeper imbalances in the body that we need to address so when we work on addressing weight loss that's not our primary goal. We address all the other things that's behind the weight loss. Now, when we talk about the fourth myth, the most common about thyroid disorders is that if anyone diagnosed with a thyroid disorder, you take a thyroid pill and that's for life. That will fix your thyroid problem. But again, that's so untrue. Once you are put on a thyroid medication, it just becomes your friend for life. Every morning you are taking that pill without even thinking anything, without even thinking whether it's helping you or not. You are just, you've just made it a habit every day. And again, your symptoms persist. You continue to have hair fall. You continue to put on weight. You continue to feel lethargic and fatigue. So it's basically, again, a myth that a thyroid pill will actually fix your hypothyroidism. And the last and again, a very common myth is about the autoimmune disorders, which we will break today, that anybody who has an autoimmune condition, you have, um, you know, it's a genetic condition, uh, somewhere in the family, someone must have it, and that's why you have it today. And it's incurable, and it requires a lifetime of medications. So we will be breaking this myth about autoimmune disorders. And so how many of you uh, here are with autoimmune conditions. So all those who answered, we had around 40 to 50 of 50% 50 of you with autoimmune conditions. 
And trust me, lifelong medications will only keep you diseased. It will not make you feel healthy and vibrant again. So, okay. Now, how many of you are uh, looking for liberation from all the health concerns that you're facing? You want weight loss. You're looking for clear skin. Sleep better. You're tired with the hair loss and you want uh, a reduction in your hair loss. You're looking for, a, you know, every morning you wake up, you, you look puffed. You don't want that anymore. You want pain-free pain periods, pain-free joints. You want to conceive. And you want your emotions to be much stable and pleasant rather to, to be annoyed and irritated every day. So for all this, uh, you know, now how do we get started? What can really help us, you know, be liberated from all the struggles, all the signs and symptoms that we are facing? Before we get there, let's understand that hormonal imbalance is, it's not just about periods. It's about, it's manifest in our body in various ways. One can experience a lot of unwanted hair growth. One can experience a lot of heavy hair fall. It can manifest as thyroid disorders. And again, thyroid disorders have their own sign and symptoms. You can feel lethargic. You can feel chronically fatigued. You, um, you put on a lot of weight. Your skin is bad, your hair is bad. You experience a lot of mood swings. Again, gut issues, gut uh, reflux, gas, bloating, constipation, all these are often overlooked. But yes, these hormone imbalances also manifest as gut issues. You are irritated, you, you have panic attacks, you are suffering from depression. That's also a sign of hormonal imbalance. Migraines, severe headaches, they are again, a sign of hormonal imbalances. And of course, fertility issues, the breast lumps, cyst in the ovary, all these are signs of hormonal imbalances, which again, connect to much deeper, deeper root causes. So now when someone is experiencing so many signs and symptoms, do you think one pill, one medication can fix all these issues? Do you think that's ever possible? I don't think so. It's it's ever possible. So uh, if if that was the case, then one magic pill can actually uh, you know address all the issues that any person is facing. So it's really time to change the approach, and it's time to look at you know the whole body rather than just treating each symptom separately. And just taking a pill is not the solution. That's always a bandit fix, what you really need to do is, uh, is again, look beyond the symptoms. Why are your hormones out of balance? When we test, we, we just test the hormones. Again, that's that's not right. You need to look why, why the hormones are out of range. And to do that, we need to understand and address the root causes. So it's time to change the approach and that's what we will be talking more about. So when we look at hormonal imbalance, there are two main drivers of hormonal imbalance. The first is insulin resistance. Now, insulin is a hormone that many of you may have heard with respect to diabetes, right? So, but insulin also plays a very important role in hormonal balance. So, insulin is produced by the pancreas in response to regulating the blood sugar levels. Now, imagine you have a diet which is rich in carbs, refined carbs, and as a result, um, Every time you eat a diet, which is white rice, for example, your blood sugars will rise. And as a result, the pancreas will be stimulated to balance the blood sugar and insulin will be released, which will push the uh, glucose into the cells. Now, if this is the habit three times a day, every day of the week, every, uh, you know, and throughout the year, the insulin will not be able to cope up with this kind of behavior that you eat a refined carb uh, diet and as a result, the insulin has to work on pushing that um, insulin glucose into the cells. As a result, the insulin, you know, it just gets, it gives up. So you eat a diet rich in carbs, there is high glucose in the blood. The pancreas is, um, also releases insulin, but then it's not able to do, do its job anymore, which basically means 
um, the insulin insulin has stopped working. The receptors are not sensitive to insulin anymore, and this is called insulin resistance. So there will be a lot of high levels of insulin in the blood, and again, all this is coming from our daily choices of refined carbs, a sedentary lifestyle. We are exposed to so much of toxins. Our uh, detox pathways are compromised. Nutritional in insufficiencies, and of course, the most important, the chronic stress. The second most important driver of hormonal imbalance is endocrine disruption. And this is caused by excess estrogen in the body. Estrogen is a very important hormone for us. and But then every hormone produced in the body has to, it does its job and then it should be metabolized and eliminated from the system. That's how, you know, it should be in a healthy individual. But when this cycle is broken down, when it doesn't get metabolized well by the body, it gets reabsorbed and this leads to excess estrogen, which results in various signs and symptoms. And how are we getting this excess um, estrogen in our body? Z from xenoestrogens, which basically are compounds which have estrogen-like uh, activity, they mimic estrogen. If you have excess fat in your body, it produces more estrogen. If your liver is out of function, it's not healthy. Uh, one phase of the estrogen metabolism does not happen. If you are chronically constipated, again, if estrogen metabolites get reabsorbed, leading to estrogen dominance. So something as simple as constipation can also lead to hormonal imbalances. I have Amarvati say I'm not audible. Am I audible to the others? Yes, you are. Okay, thank you. So now we spoke about ins uh, insulin resistance, which is high insulin levels, but how is it actually causing the symptoms? So high insulin levels, basically, uh, you know, because there's so much of glucose in the blood now, it has to go somewhere. It has to get deposited somewhere. So it gets deposited in your belly, on your face, on your back, and you get that typical uh, stubborn weight, you know, uh, belly fat, which is difficult, uh, you know, it's very difficult to shed that off. That's a sign of insulin resistance. More fat cells means more estrogen production, thus it leads to estrogen dominance and hence a lot of estrogen dominance symptoms come up. Glucose also goes and gets deposited in the liver. As a result of which you, get, you can get a fatty liver. You have not had alcohol all your life, but you still have a fatty liver. Now you know it's coming from your choice of diet. And because you have a fatty liver, your lipid profile is also, uh, you know, out of range. You have high, high cholesterol levels. Uh, you're also prone to diabetes because, again, the root cause of diabetes and uh, is also insulin resistance. Many women also experience unwanted hair growth um, or, uh, and also a lot of hair loss, acne. All these are results of excessive male hormone in female, which again is a result of insulin resistance. So this is how we are getting the sign and symptoms of um, you know, hormonal imbalance because of insulin resistance. And just one hormonal pill cannot fix all these symptoms. It may help you to get a regular period, but then it's not doing anything about, um, about the androgens. It's not doing anything about the estrogen dominance. What are the other ways in which estrogen dominance manifests in our body? One can exp one experiences breast tenderness. Uterine fibroids are because of estrogen dominance. Heavy periods, painful periods, fibrocystic disease, which is again very common. Breast lumps, ovary uh, cyst in the ovary, endometriosis. These are again other ways how estrogen dominance manifests in the body. Now that we know that there are certain drivers for hormonal imbalances, all these drivers again have underlying reasons which is causing insulin resistance, which is causing estrogen dominance. The first and the most important is the diet. Our conscious, unconscious choices of food is impacting our health in a big, big way. So if your diet is nutritionally deficient, if your diet is not rich in, for example, fats, fats is a very important component of our hormone. So if you are not in, it, um, 
if you if your diet is not rich in fats if you're not taking enough ghee if you're not taking enough coconut oil your body will not be able to make the hormones if your diet is rich in refined carbs and sugars it's not helping you in any way it's only adding to the inflammation in the body if you're eating a lot of processed food again it's devoid of nutrients anything which is processed by humans it's devoid of nutrients so what what we really need to feed our body with is whole grain food again if you're uh, if you are cooking your food in uh, too much of seed oils refined oils and at the same time you also have a lot of inflammation in the system it's causing more damage to your body you're adding fuel to the fire you're not taking enough fruits and veggies so you're basically depriving your body of all the antioxidants that's needed if your water is not right and you know uh, today all of us have an ro installed in our houses and but then what it's really what the kind of water you're drinking from that ro is basically an acidic water which is dead water what our body needs is structured drinking water and if you're not giving your body structured drinking water you are chronically dehydrated which can again be one major sign of severe headaches for example so it's very important that we give the body the right kind of water many of you uh, actually many of our participants you know uh, when we capture all the signs and symptoms they have signs of uh, they say that you know they drink a lot of water but when we see their blood works uh, there is still a sign of chronic dehydration and that's because there's a, they're not drinking structured drinking water and if your diet is rich in the conventional dairy and meat products and by that i mean that uh, mean the dairy which is coming from not coming from the grass fed cows um the meat which is not coming from uh, you know free uh, the animals which are freely grazed if that's the case and they're fed with antibiotics they're fed with hormones or when we eat those products it messes up our hormones we are introducing xenoestrogens in that way in our body so that the diet plays a very very important role uh, in in our health so it's important that uh, you know when we start on the healing journey we correct our diet the second most important thing is our exposure to toxins so today almost everywhere you know the the tex, uh, the toxin exposure is so high so the most common one being the conventional beauty products they are loaded with a lot of uh, a lot of toxins a lot of heavy metals and because skin is a large organ so whatever we are putting on a skin it gets absorbed readily and that's how uh, that's one way how we are exposing ourselves to the toxins the other is if you are drinking unfiltered water again um, very various chemicals various uh, heavy metals are introduced in our body all the conventional cleaning products are are loaded again with a lot of chemicals and uh, other ingredients which are endocrine disruptors plastics one major uh, source of bpa so if you're drinking out of a if you're drinking out of a plastic bottle or let's say if you're drinking um, if you're storing your cooked food in plastic containers you are exposing yourself to a lot of uh, xenoestrogen and it's it's really detrimental for the health the plastic basically the microplastic leaches out to the food it leaches out to the water and they are endocrine disruptors if, if you are chronically stressed your um, your gut health will be poor your uh, many other metabolism will be impacted and as a result it can lead to estrogen dominance and of course the conventional produce and animal products they are sources of xeno uh, xenoestrogens now liver health and gut health uh, you'll be surprised to know how they play a very important role in so many functions which actually manifest in the way of hormones one may say that you know it's all about uh, hormones it's it's all about the ovary it's all about the uterus but no it's so much connected to the liver and the gut health so if your our gut is actually a house to many many uh, to trillions of um, bacteria viruses fungus which live in harmony now if bec now because of our choices of food our uh, lifestyle choices 
at times the good ones will come down and the bad ones will start thriving and that is called dysbiosis so if that's the case one will suffer from digestive issues one will suffer from gut infections you may not be able to digest the food there are parasitic infections and other infections leaky gut is something which is which we see very common in in case of hormonal imbalances autoimmune conditions your stomach is not producing enough acid one can one may be taking a lot of antacids a lot of antibiotics because of which the acid production has come down and as a result after each meal you feel bloated um you feel heavy uh your stomach is not producing digestive enzymes and as a result often the pain in the body is also a result of poor gut health chronic constipation as i explained earlier uh it's you're just allowing your body to reabsorb all the toxins if you are not clearing your bowels every day and of course the liver it it has so much of a role to play in case of the entire metabolism of the hormones so if the liver is busy with fighting infections or it's busy with uh you know if you're taking a lot of medications the liver will be busy in clearing them and as a result it will not be able to do the job it's it's actually supposed to do if your gallbladder is not healthy if there is if you have removed your gallbladder again which means the fat absorption does not happen and fat is a very important component of the hormones it's a very important component of every cellular structure in our body so that's why any uh, if we want to work on the hormones if we want to work on autoimmunity the role of the liver and the gut health is very very critical how many of you know about the mitochondria have you heard of mitochondria so as a as a student we have all uh, understood mitochondria as absolutely it's a powerhouse of the cell it produces atp very right so uh, it's it's a it's the bean shaped structure in every cell of our body and it is a powerhouse so you can imagine it like uh, like a car has an engine so that engine is the mitochondria so the engine of our body is mitochondria so if we are giving our body everything we are giving the body the right food we are giving the body uh, you know a good condition but then if the mitochondria is not functional it's not healthy your body will not be able to do its job so it's very important that if there are infections in the body it has to be treated because infections damage the mitochondria the toxins they damage the mitochondria blue light toxicity very simple today we are exposed to so, so much of uh, you know the blue light which comes from the laptop from the artificial light in the houses from all the leds that causes blue light toxicity and that damages our mitochondria and there are various organs in the body which have a high number of mitochondria like the liver the heart it's very important in case of fertility so almost every uh, cellular function is uh, is dependent on the mitochondria so blue light toxicity can damage so we really need to take care of the kind of light we are exposed to so i am right now sitting in a in the old style yellow filament light because that does not cause blue light toxicity uh i have a red uh, red light lamp also on so uh, basically my exposure to blue light is is minimal if you are not drinking the right quality of water that damages your mitochondria if you are low on various nutritional elements again your mitochondria will not be healthy so if this is what you are uh most of the time of your day and then most of the time at night it's affecting your health so i have spoken about a lot of tangible uh, things you know which which we see which uh, and you know uh, we know of and many of them we, you did not know of but then there are there's a lot more than that and that's about chronic st stress which i'll have siddharth speak more about over to you siddharth Uh, 
I'm unmuted. Sorry, <laughs> I'm speaking. Thank you, Dr. Rui, for setting a wonderful platform for me to speak further on. And uh, you know, uh, thank you to all of you for joining us. In, you know, today. So stress, it's like most of us are stressed, but we don't realize how stressed we are. You know, it's like that uh, proverbial fish in the ocean who heard about the ocean and he's like, you know, going around everywhere looking for the ocean, not realizing it's in the ocean all the time. <laughs> so it's become like that for most of us. We don't realize how stressed we are. Okay. And when you are stressed, it will impact your health in the long run. Now, <clears throat> because we are talking about hormonal imbalance, let's, you know, look at that. Can someone tell me which are, which is the main uh, hormone which rises when you're stressed out? You can put it in the chat. Cortisol, Vijay, you're right. Pragya, Mariam, yes. Ramya, Sadia. So all of you know, right? Now the moment your cortisol goes up, the next thing to go up is your blood sugar. Right? Why is the blood sugar going up? What is the connection? We'll come to that. Okay. Now, Dr. Ruhi just explained to you in detail the concept of insulin resistance and how it is one of the two main root causes for so many health issues, including hormonal imbalance, but not limited to that. Okay. It is also, it is the root cause for diabetes, for obesity, for uh, cholesterol imbalances, for inflammation, for, you know, heart problems, so many things, blocked arteries, etc., etc. Okay. So with just with stress, you are raising your blood sugar, which makes your cells more resistant to insulin. And you move in the direction of so many health issues, right? Not only that, what happens is stress creates cravings, okay? I think that also was shared, covered briefly earlier that insulin resistance leads to cravings. Cravings for what? Do you, when you are stressed out, do you crave for really healthy food? You want to eat very nice fresh fruits and salads? No, isn't it? What is it that you crave for? You crave for all the junk food, isn't it? Sweets. Yes, Ramya, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so, you know, sugars, sweets, refined carb food, fast food, coffee, tea, smoking, alcohol, and even drugs. So on one hand, stress is causing cravings and then we are, we are handling the stress in very unhealthy ways, right? That compounds our problems. So why does cortisol raise your blood sugar? Because the moment your mind senses any kind of stress, it immediately activates the necessary mechanism in the body to release an emergency quota of sugar into the bloodstream. Why is the mind doing that? Simply because your mind does not understand stress in different ways. Okay, It does not understand that your boss uh, shouted at you or maybe you know, for women, your mother-in-law <laughs> said something nasty or you were going on the road and somebody cut across in front of you. Right? Today, we can get stressed out with anything and everything. Smallest of things and we can get stressed out. Your mind doesn't, doesn't understand, the subconscious mind doesn't understand all of this. If you create stress in your mind, your nervous system only understands one thing, that there is some animal which is trying to eat you, kill you and eat you up. So what does it do? It prepares your body to survive that animal attack, right? Either by running away or by fighting the animal, both of which require tremendous energy, right? So it is releasing sugar into the bloodstream to produce that, to give you that energy, to provide fuel to your muscles, right? The problem is you are not doing any physical activity, right? If you really ran 10 kilometers every time you got angry or upset or stressed out, you will actually not cause any health issues to you. The stress will not create any health issues. So it's like, you know, you drive your car at 50 kilometers per hour, the engine life may be 100 kilometers. I'm sorry, 1 lakh kilometers. You drive the same car at 100 kilometers per hour, the engine life will come down substantially, isn't it? So that is what is happening to us. 
okay <clears throat> so somebody asks never say that your you know job is stressful please remember stress means we are not able to handle the situation in a relaxed manner yes or no see whichever situations freak you and me out all of us know somebody else in our circle in our you know network who is able to handle the same situation very very easily very in a very relaxed manner without getting stressed out frustrated angry upset yes so what does it tell us it tells us that the situation is not stressful it is how we respond to the situation so moving on on your screen now there are various symptoms of pcos right so you know i'll read through the symptoms and if any of you have those symptoms i want you to let us know in the chat so hair loss anxiety depression acne belly fat right pain in the pelvic area cysts in various parts of the body including the ovaries and uterus etc irregular periods weight gain and or difficulty in losing it growth of hair on the face and other parts of the body dark spots skin tags or even dark dark patches on the skin right in uh, different parts of the body like the neck and you know armpits etc and difficulty falling asleep how many of you would say you have at least one or more of these symptoms i'm sure there are many isn't it <clears throat> yes harshita that is also possible that you have all of these many of these symptoms but you are skinny you haven't put on weight that doesn't mean there is not extra fat okay when one looks at the uh, muscle to fat ratio you might actually find that you have more fat than you should so see so many of you have these issues right so once again you know i will repeat this question can a pill fix all of these issues is it possible does it make sense to you no isn't it doesn't make sense because what will the pill do pill will only be able to fix the symptom these are all of these symptoms that we saw here right these are the results of underlying imbalances in the body you don't do anything about the imbalance you just take some pill to suppress the symptom does it make sense to you it doesn't make sense to me at least yes so let's also look at thyroid right because in the poll that we did at the beginning i think almost half of you uh, i think more than half of you said you have some thyroid related issue right and by the way thyroid issues are much more common for women than for men for some reason so let's understand that there you know there are factors that contribute to proper production of hormone one thing is it's if the gland is like a small factory right it has to produce an output the hormone for producing the output it needs certain input raw material so the nutrients the raw materials are iron iodine tyrosine which is a amino acid zinc selenium vitamin e b2 b3 b6 vitamin c vitamin d and you know a few other things also if your body is deficient in any of these will the production of thyroid hormone happen properly answer is obvious right now this is make get a little technical your thyroid gland actually produces 80% of the production is t4 okay t4 is actually inactive it needs to be converted into t3 which is the active form okay certain conditions in the body can actually increase the conversion of t4 into reverse t3 known as rt3 reverse t3 means it is an inactive form of t3 so your body will not have enough thyroid hormone what all factors can increase the reverse t3 stress trauma low calorie calorie diet right lot of people go on you know very very uh, harsh diets to lose weight that can do this inflammation in the body toxins infections liver and kidney dysfunction and certain types of medicines can lead to increase in the amount of reverse t3 now apart from lack of proper nutrients there are other factors which also uh, inhibit the proper production of thyroid hormones for example stress chronic infections trauma radiations medications 
chloride and fluoride excess you know toxicity in the body other toxins including heavy metals and autoimmunity so autoimmunity uh, you know earlier it was thought autoimmunity is a very small part of thyroid problem but now uh, scientists are you know beginning to say that maybe 80 or 90% of thyroid uh, patients actually have certain amount of autoimmune uh, component to their problem now what are the factors see we want more of t4 to convert into t3 right t3 is the active form so low stress you know will do that all the factors that you saw on the left hand side which increase the conversion to reverse t3 if we reduce those conversion to t3 will increase isn't it and then two unique nutrients which are required for t3 conversion are selenium and zinc they should be there in good quantity and believe me we have you know looked at hundreds and hundreds of blood reports almost always these two are low and especially zinc is very very low and when zinc is low another thing that will happen is your immune function will be poor there is much more to it you know uh, one thing is how much hormone is being produced but how effective your hormone is right just like insulin how your cells are responding to the hormone that can be improved by vitamin a intake with exercise and with zinc supplementation also so once again one now that you have understood you know how complex the thyroid function is tell me something can that pill in the morning fix all of these issues does it again make sense to you does it make sense to you yes or no i want to hear from all of you in the chat no isn't it see anybody we you know little common sense if you use you will realize it doesn't make sense isn't it what a problem that is so complex so multifactorial it makes much more sense to also create a treatment protocol which <clears throat> encompasses all of those factors only then you can hope to reverse any issue isn't it also let's look at autoimmunity once again right because uh, many many of you have actually you know said that you have different types of autoimmune uh, issues even in the poll as well as in the chat many of you have put you know now the important thing to understand is that you can think of it like a fire okay there is a fire going on which we are, we have not been able to see in the body now it can move around anywhere in the body and it can affect any organ right so it affects different organs and we give that you know disease a different name for somebody it affects the thyroid gland so we say you have hashimotos right or graves disease both are thyroid uh, autoimmune thyroid disorders for somebody we say you have lupus for somebody you have, we have say you know you have this that type 1 diabetes xyz whatever isn't it what we need to understand is that those are again expressions based on which organ got affected by the autoimmunity isn't it that is not the important thing the important thing is that there is autoimmunity your immune system is acting against your body it is supposed to protect your body but it is damaging your body that is the important thing isn't it so all of these names you know uh, different diseases it doesn't matter it's it's hundreds of diseases long the list if you dig deeper the the common thing is that immune immune system is acting against your body why is that happening there are many many reasons okay there are many reasons stress can do that certain types of viruses and bacteria and other parasites can increase that you know uh, process of autoimmunity fungal infections we are finding out with experience you know of working with people that it's crazy how much fungal infections are there in our bodies and how much of a havoc they are creating certain medications can do this hormones imbalance of hormones can do it and even you know external hormone uh, supplementation can do that various types of toxins heavy metals can trigger autoimmunity and yes genetics might play a role in the in making you susceptible okay somebody else may also have the same things but they don't have autoimmune disorder because their genes are uh, not susceptible so that's all that's you know the the genes are only playing the role of loading the gun whether whether you pull the trigger or not is decided by your lifestyle choices please remember that genes don't decide which ailment which disease you will get this genes only create a predisposition whether you get the disease or not is entirely in your hands 
So as I said, all autoimmune conditions are essentially the same process occurring in the body, which is inflamed immune system and continuous trigger. You know, something that is coming into your body from outside, which is making the immune system behave like that. So once again, you know, uh, the only solution which is provided for this is a lifelong, you know, anti-immune or immunosuppressive medication and anti-inflammatory medication. Once again, we are only addressing symptoms, right? Can this fix auto autoimmunity? Yes or no? <clears throat> awesome. So all of you are beginning to understand. <laughs> You know, the simple, simple uh, facts of life when it comes to health. <clears throat> so now, one, now that we have looked at all of these things, right? What are the different myths? What are the different rules, you know, uh, root causes for the imbalances that lead to hormonal uh, issues? And how the normal approach, right, of taking a pill is not going to solve the problem. Now that we have understood all of this, <clears throat> let's understand functional medicine a little better. Right? Functional medicine is a system that looks at the body as a whole. Okay? When I say it looks at the body as a whole, what I'm trying to say is that how your liver is functioning impacts everything else in your body. How your blood is flowing impacts everything in your body. How your digestion is happening impacts everything else in your body, isn't it? So everything, every function in the body is impacting every other function, right? So this understanding of these interconnections is actually the science of functional medicine. By understanding this, you can identify and this is the underlying root cause of any dysfunction in the body. And then when you can actually address the root cause, that is when your body will start reversing the condition instead of just managing the symptoms, right? So we treat the whole body, not just the symptoms. We look into the unique root causes of your health issues, right? Which can be, you know, toxins, heavy metals, chronic infections, nutritional deficiencies, inflammation, poor gut digestion function, mitochondrial dysfunction, poor detoxification, poor stress coping skills, non-native EMF, radiation exposure, hydration, etc. And we help you address all of these so that you can reverse your health conditions and again feel healthy and vibrant, right? So once you start bringing in these changes in your life, you know, what are the signs that you are getting better? The first thing you will notice is within a matter of days, your energy levels will start improving. Things like, you know, headaches, body pains, backache, this, that will start reducing. You, I, I hope some of you heard the uh, testimonial that we played from Vijay Shri. She had been told, she had such severe knee pain, she could not walk. Okay. She had been told the only solution is knee replacement. Three months hormone reset program, knee pain is gone. A knee that was told is damaged and only replacement can help save it. That knee pain is gone. Okay. So pains and issues will go. Your sleep quality will improve. The periods will become regular, skin, skin will glow like anything. I think two of them, uh, uh, Tamili and Deepa were sharing how, you know, the skin has started glowing much better. You will feel, you will know that you are in tune with your body. Your cravings will reduce, okay? Bloating will reduce, digestion will improve, bowel movements will be better. And overall, you will feel less puffy and thin. And believe me, you don't know how bad you are feeling till you start feeling better okay then you realize oh my god i was struggling so much and because i was struggling like that for months and years i had even stopped realizing how bad i'm feeling so we offer a 12 weeks program called the hormone reset program right which is addressed to uh, which is designed to address all of these various issues that we you know discussed in detail so the whole process, the whole idea is to move away from just managing the disease to trying to reverse it, right? So we start with, you know, very detailed history taking symptoms and your current lifestyle we understand in detail. Based on all of this information, we give you test recommendations for the lab reports, lab tests. All of this information helps us do the root cause analysis. What is the reason why you are struggling with these issues? 
right? It helps us to understand that. And then we create a personalized treatment plan for each participant, which includes a nutritional plan, lifestyle recommendations, supplementation plan, you know, different things to support the gut and liver function, which are very, very critical for improving your overall health. We also cover stress management techniques, you know, which are very simple, but very effectively, they can calm down your nervous system. So you move away from that stress response into a more relaxed state. We also, you know, help you learn simple techniques with which you can actually handle a lot of emotional baggage that all of us are carrying. Okay. And you can just get rid of it. And many people, actually many women have shared that I lost, you know, five, six, seven, eight kgs in the three months. So my body is lighter, but my mind is much lighter than the body. And I didn't even realize the kind of weight I was carrying emotionally, which I've been able to now get rid of by using these techniques. Okay. We also will guide you through a, through a three days detox process to get rid of many toxins and improve the overall health of the body. We support you in every way in making the required lifestyle changes, whether it is, you know, shopping lists, handouts on different uh, topics that are important for you to understand, you know, nourishing and yummy, tasty recipes, live sessions on the weekends to empower you with education and information. So you, you understand why you are getting these issues and what is it that you need to do about them, right? So throughout the 12 weeks, there will be real time support and handholding that will be available. So uh, the next batch will be starting from the coming Saturday, uh, not tomorrow, the Saturday after tomorrow, which is 10th of September. The normal fees of the program is 12,000 rupees. Uh, for all of you who have joined the uh, webinar today, if you sign up in the next three days, that is by Monday evening, uh, we are giving you, uh, you know, early bird offer, a webinar offer, which is 11,000 rupees but this is applicable only till the 5th of September. So with that, let us open it up for questions. I will allow all of you to unmute yourself, but please unmute yourselves and you know speak one at a time. <laughs> Any questions that have not been answered in the chat, only please those you can ask. Hello? Hello, ma'am. Hello? Yes, hello? yes, we can hear you. Yeah, hello. Aap, aap yeah. Hai, ma'am. Ji, ma'am, aap sun rahe hai, kya? Haan, ji. Ji, ma'am, mere to pyaar se thode problem chal rahe hai, ma'am. Yahi hum to humko wahan bhi ye malum karna tha ki jo mere periods hain, wo regular nahi hain. और मेरा एक बेबी है चार साल का हो चुका है उसके बाद हमको ये प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट हो गया है जब हम प्रेगनेंसी का प्लान किए तो हमको मालूम हुआ कि हमको पीसीओडी है तो उसका हम क्या कैसे उसको हम ठीक करें ऐसा हमको कुछ जानकारी तो है नहीं ऐसा अगर आप कुछ सजेस्ट करते तो क्यों सो कंचन अगर हेल्दी प्रेगनेंसी के लिए बॉडी को प्रिपेयर करना बहुत जरूरी है ठीक है अगर बॉडी को प्रिपेयर किया नहीं, नहीं है हमने प्रेगनेंसी के लिए और कंसीव कर लेते हैं तो अगेन चांसेस ऑफ मिसकैरेज इज हायर ठीक है अब जैसा कि आपने कहा कि अभी आप ट्राई कर रहे थे कंसीव करने का तब आप पीसीओएस डायग्नोज हुआ है, है ना तो पीसीओएस एक लाइफ डिसऑर्डर है अगर हम उसके रूट कॉजेस को एड्रेस करेंगे पीसीओएस को आप रिवर्स कर सकते हो ठीक है और इसका रूट कॉजेस जैसा कि हमने वेबिनार में बताया है इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस है ईस्ट्रोजन डोमिनेंस है जो अगेन कई कारण से आ रहा है आपका खाना पीना कैसा है आपका लाइफस्टाइल कैसा है आपका स्टमक कैसा है हेवी मेटल्स है या नहीं सो ये सारी चीजें डिटरमिन करती हैं कि क्यों है तो अगर हम उस कारण को आइडेंटिफाई करके एड्रेस करेंगे तो आपका पीसीओस भी रिवर्स हो जाएगा और आप नेचुरली कंसीव भी कर लोगे जी मैम। बिफोर वी गो हेड विद क्वेश्चन शुरू शैल वी डू द द पोल, लास्ट पोल यस यस वी कैन 
So uh, we will go ahead with the uh, uh, you know question answers. But before that, there are just four questions in this poll. I request all of you to please answer these questions. I am launching the poll. You should mm -hmm. be able to see it on your screen now. So we request all of you to answer the poll. Or aap me se kisi ko bhi, or any of you, if you feel that you still have more questions that you need to be answered, okay, please leave your name and number in the chat so that we can reach out to you. आप में से किसी को भी अगर लगता है कि आपके पास और सवाल हैं जो आप यहां पर नहीं पूछ पा रहे हैं वेबिनार में और आपको हमसे बात करनी है तो आप अपने नंबर और नाम दोनों चीज चैट में डाल दीजिए सो दैट वी कैन रीच आउट टू यू कैन आई आस्क टू क्वेश्चन Yes, Vandana. Please go ahead. Yeah. Actually, um, I am now I am fifty years old, mm -hmm. and um, since uh, eight ten years I am doing regular practice of yoga, and I am a marathon runner also. And since uh, last uh, year, like December, I got to know that I am having uh, RA, and from that time I am just uh, searching the root cause. That why. i i got this i am doing everything and i am not a um, uh, like non vegetarian also i am pure vegetarian and uh, no no types of that extra things i eat junk food also i don't i eat, i just follow all the good things but i don't know why i got so i want that ki what is the root cause so vandana i had answered uh, you had said shared this in the chat also whatsapp yeah. and i had actually replied to you saying that it's wonderful that you are so conscious of your health right you're doing yoga you're eating nice very very good and very important but as we have discussed right there are so many other factors also we this yeah. that's the whole web webinar right we explain to you so many yes, other factors yes. which are possible so definitely there are reasons why this is happening correct and obviously in a short conversation like this we cannot identify and tell you yeah that but if you but if you work with us if we go through the entire process we will definitely be able to identify why it's happening and help you reverse it but the link which you have shared in that uh, ra is not there in that list autoimmunity is covered right yeah because i covered i don't have other other things but only this is the problem ra and i am searching i have done everything but i have to eat the tablet and i don't like to eat that no so that is that right. is i understand that so anyways uh, vandana there are so many <laughs> diseases we can't put everything on the website or in the yeah, message yeah. Okay. but uh, please rest assured that uh, ra is very very well addressed by uh, the functional medicine approach okay okay thank you any other questions please those who have raised your hands you can unmute yourself and ask jasam you can unmute yourself ha uh, hello ma'am aapko awaaz aa rahi hai mere aa rahi hai bataiye ji main ye question mere didi ke liye kar rahi thi theek hai ha un unke char miscarriages ho gaye hain unko heart ek kabhi heart beat 7 week mein aati hai to kabhi nahi aati hai unke char miscarriages hue hain aur ek फाइव इयर्स की एक बेबी गर्ल है उनकी ओके okay. और फर्स्ट में उनका एक बेबी गर्ल बॉर्न होके डेथ हो गई थी तो और उनकी शादी रिलेटिव रिलेशन में हुई है ओके okay. तो हाँ और वो थोड़े दिन पहले वो थायराइड की टैबलेट भी ले रहे हैं दीदी दी तो मैम उनके लिए क्या आप क्या, इस प्रोग्राम में क्या ये करना चाहेंगे उनके बारे में बता रहे हो आप चार मिस कैरेजेस हैं तो देखिए इस तरह से समझिए अगर हमारी बॉडी प्रिपेयर्ड नहीं है प्रेगनेंसी के लिए तो वो बॉडी का विजडम है बॉडी बॉडी स्मार्ट है काफी कि अगर बॉडी प्रिपेयर्ड नहीं है तो वो किसी वो वो उस चाइल्ड को सरवाइव नहीं करने देगी क्योंकि बॉडी को पता है कि बॉडी प्रिपेयर नहीं है और एक नया लाइफ वो सपोर्ट नहीं कर सकती है, है ना इसलिए वो वो मिस होता है So, hmm. इसीलिए किसी भी प्रेगनेंसी के लिए बहुत जरूरी है कि पहले बॉडी को प्रिपेयर कर लिया करें 
ठीक है अगर आप जबरदस्ती बॉडी को फोर्स करके आईवीएफ वगैरह भी करवा रहे हो अगर से टॉक्सिन है बॉडी में आपने टॉक्सिन हटाए नहीं है तो वो सारे बच्चे पे डंप होगा और बच्चे पे डंप होगा तो बच्चे में प्रॉब्लम्स आएंगे बर्थ के बाद ऑटिज्म हुआ ऑटो इम्यूनिटी हुआ ये सारी प्रॉब्लम्स बच्चे को आएंगी ठीक है तो इसीलिए बॉडी को प्रिपेयर करना बहुत जरूरी है हेल्थी प्रेगनेंसी के लिए और प्रोग्राम में वो हम करते हैं जो भी वुमेन एनरोल करते हैं प्रोग्राम में हम काफी डिटेल में साइन एंड सिम्टम समझते हैं उसके बेसिस पे क्या नेसेसरी टेस्ट है वो करवाते हैं ठीक है उस टेस्ट के और जब एक बार ये सारे रिपोर्ट्स भी आ जाए उसके बाद हम समझ पाते हैं कि किस कारण से मिसकैरेजेस हो रहे हैं न्यूट्रिशनल इम्बैलेंस है हैवी मेटल्स है बॉडी में या इन्फेक्शन है थायरॉयड की प्रॉब्लम जैसे आपने बताई थायरॉयड भी क्यों है क्योंकि प्रेगनेंसी में थायरॉयड का सपोर्ट भी बहुत ज्यादा चाहिए ठीक है तो वो सारी चीजों को आइडेंटिफाई करके फिर हम एक पर्सनलाइज ट्रीटमेंट प्लान के हेल्प से उसे एड्रेस करते हैं खाना क्या है लाइफस्टाइल क्या होना चाहिए सप्लीमेंट्स क्या देने हैं बॉडी को सो so, वो सारी चीजें जब हम करेंगे तो बॉडी हील होने लगेगी बॉडी रिकवर होने लगेगी आपकी बॉडी प्रिपेयर होने लगेगी तब प्रेगनेंसी के लिए ट्राई करना बेस्ट होता है ठीक है तो वो हम डेफिनेटली कर सकते हैं आपकी सिस्टर uh, हमें कांटेक्ट कर ले आपके पास uh, आप अपना नंबर अगर छोड़ दोगे तो हमारी टीम आपको कांटेक्ट कर ले हाँ, जी मैंने नंबर छोड़ दिया है चैट में ठीक है थैंक यू Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. This session will be uh, that another one after paying that one. So it will be online or uh, some physical that will It's be all online. The so entire what, program will be delivered. So online. what time it will be and which day it will be? Because I am working and I come back at six o'clock only evening. So the sessions are over the weekends. Okay, Saturday, Sunday only. Yes. Right? Saturdays, mostly Saturdays. Okay. Uh, Rashmi, you have a question. How will you address? Uh, uh, how will you take personal if you are doing it? Uh, I mean, all the people join together for the webinar. Then how will you take personal? Uh... See, uh, the webinar is for education. It's for empowerment. It's for teaching you the techniques and tools. The personalized plan that is completely, you know, that's not offered in the program. Pers Personalized program is with the help of the detailed signs and symptoms that will capture through the help of history forms that will be shared with you, and then you will be recommended certain tests. We do the root cause analysis. We'll share the no, plan. No, no. Actually, see, I have done many webinars to reduce uh, to remove thyroid, but basically they tell you to be off dairy and be off uh, gluten. So if that is the thing, then it is not working. It's not enough. Because I... Off gluten and off dairy is not enough. They no, they normally say part. that. they normally say that and it is difficult to uh, be off gluten and dairy because uh, without dairy you know you can't uh, i mean it's not practical in a joint family so that's what if you are going to say the same thing then there's no point joining the program if you have something else to say then okay i have thyroid and i have a lot of dryness and hair issues also and madhu uh, ji did you hear the entire webinar or did you I join heard it I heard it, but what I am saying. So there are so have... many root causes that we explained, right? The whole program is designed to address all of those, whatever we in, we identify for an individual, right? No, no, that is what I am saying. Basically, if you are end of the day, if you are going to say leave gluten and leave dairy, then there is no point joining. Madhu ji, Madhu ji, exactly. That's what I am trying to explain to you. We gave you a list of five categories of root causes, right? And we are saying that we will be helping you address all of those. Just leaving gluten or dairy is not addressing all those root causes. It's only addressing a very tiny amount of those causes. No, what I am saying that you one has to be practical. So Madhu ji, we ah okay. Abhi tak everybody so in an Indian diet, right? Dairy ko bhot important mana jata hai. ठीक है हम बोलते हैं सब पीते आ रहे थे दूध हम कैसे छोड़ दें? लेकिन अगर वो डेरी प्रोडक्ट आपकी बीमारी का कारण है इज इट सो डिफिकल्ट टू गिव इट अप देन या फिर थायराइड मेडिकेशन या यू नो इम्यूनो सप्रेस लेना इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर लाइफ आप क्या चूज करोगे I don't know because without dairy, what can you have in a vegetarian diet? It's very difficult, no? Oh I my mean, God, vegetarian diet, diet has the highest variety. Yeah. 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 Y
listen in the in thyroid no for me i cannot digest high protein somebody told about this little millets and all i started with that that caused a lot of problem so everything is not suiting no little millets and all are very high in protein and so your gut uh, needs to be fixed madhu ji if you are not able to digest proteins you per, we first need to work on your gut yeah that is the thing yeah. so how do you work on and the gut dairy dairy is causing a problem there as well gluten is causing a problem there so jab tak aap gluten aur dairy khate rahoge aapka aapka gut affected rahega and आपने ग्लूटन डेरी छोड़ के आप व्हाइट राइस खा रहे हो इट्स कॉजिंग अ ट्रबल आपने इन्फेक्शन को करेक्ट नहीं किया हेवी मेटल्स को करेक्ट नहीं किया इट्स स्टिल कॉजिंग अ प्रॉब्लम so heavy metals like what what heavy metals picture rather and what we do the metal aluminum lead aluminum arsenic cadmium there are many heavy metals no we and don't uh, use lead uh, aluminum vessels and all there are many sources of these things it is not only coming from vessels okay so we'll take up other questions also um <clears throat> rashmi you can go ahead please yes because uh, end of the day no everybody says you can eat? reverse thyroid but uh, they only come come up with this leave gluten and leave the you are not uh, you are not listening to us madhu ji we have told you there are many more factors other than gluten and dairy so let's look at the disease you know in a bigger pers- in a bigger way rather than a very but, uh, but uh, like you know see i am 67 now if you tell me to leave uh, to do this de- detox thing that is uh, like uh, डिटॉक्स में क्या बोलेंगे आपकी डोंट फास्टिंग एंड आल्सो दैट इज नॉट प्रैक्टिक नॉट पॉसिबल नो फास्टिंग और लाइक गोइंग ऑन लिक्विड डाइट एंड ऑल बिकॉज़ आई आई एम एम फास्टिंग इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट वे टू अलाउ द बॉडी टू रिकवर फ्रॉम इन्फ्लेमेशन एंड इट्स वेरी मच प्रैक्टिकल सो अगेन इट्स अ वेरी सब्जेक्टिव थिंग व्हाट इज प्रैक्टिकल एंड व्हाट इज नॉट प्रैक्टिकल सो व्हेन वी ऑफर अ सॉल्यूशन वी ऑफर द लॉजिक एंड वी गिव यू द राइट नो नो फॉर डिटॉक्स व्हाट आर यू गोइंग टू गिव लाइक आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग बिकॉज़ सपोज इट डजंट सूट मी आई मे एनरोल आई हैव एनरोल्ड अर्लियर आल्सो गिवन एन अल्टरनेटिव यू विल बी गिवन एन अल्टरनेटिव आई एम सॉरी आई हैव टू इंटरप्ट वी हैव अदर पीपल आल्सो रेजिंग देयर हैंड्स सो वी कैन टेक योर क्वेश्चन ऑफलाइन if you have more questions yeah can you can somebody call me up please before yeah. i pay that big amount and then if i'm yeah. not cured in 3 months it doesn't really make sense no because i also have done a lot of study on absolutely to... we will do that yeah uh other questions hari krishna um, siddhar ji <coughs> hari krishna rashmi ji bataiye ha mere ko thyroid hai for last 22 years se और थायराइड से रिलेटेड जो भी इश्यूज हैं आई एम फेसिंग दे और मैंने बहुत हो चुका है मुझे तो अभी ड्राई स्किन भी बहुत ड्राई है और रैशेस बहुत है व्हाट आई वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड इज कि जितनी मेरी जानकारी है यू आर द एक्सपर्ट कि थायराइड क्या वी मैनेज द थायराइड या थायराइड हम बिल्कुल खत्म कर सकते हैं थायराइड को खत्म कर सकते हैं अब देखिए थायराइड कई कारण से होता है एक है अगर आपकी बॉडी में रॉ मटेरियल नहीं है थायराइड को जो हार्मोन बनाना है उसके लिए रॉ मटेरियल नहीं है तो आप बाहर से गोली खा रहे हो थायराइड की लेकिन आप जो रॉ मटेरियल की डेफिशिएंसी उसको तो फिक्स ही नहीं कर रहे हो है ना तो वो कमी चलते जाएगी आपके सिम्टम्स भी सॉल्व नहीं होंगे और आप पिल खा रहे हो फॉर लाइफ दूसरा है अगर आप ऑटो इम्यूनिटी कारण है जिसका मतलब आपका इम्यून सिस्टम आपके थायराइड ग्लैंड को डैमेज कर रहा है जिसकी वजह से हार्मोन कम प्रोड्यूस हो रहे हैं तो अगर उसको नहीं एड्रेस कर रहे हो तो भी वो लाइफ लॉन्ग रहेगा तो अगर हम आइडेंटिफाई कर लेते हैं किस कारण से ऑटो इम्यूनिटी आई है या किस अगर ऑटो इम्यूनिटी नहीं है तो न्यूट्रिशनल डेफिशियंसी को एड्रेस कर ले अगर स्ट्रेस कारण है उसको उस, उसको बेटर मैनेज करने के लिए आपको टेक्निक्स वगैरह बताएंगे तो so, अगर हम कारण को एड्रेस करेंगे आप थायराइड को रिवर्स थायराइड डिजॉर्डर को रिवर्स कर सकते हो तो जो आपका डोजिंग है मेडिकेशन का वो भी धीरे धीरे टेपर ऑफ हो जाएगा अच्छा जैसे मैं अभी सेवेंटी फाइव एम सी जी लेती हूँ रिपोर्ट के ऊपर कभी वो नॉर्मल आता है कभी बढ़ा आता है कभी थोड़ा सा घटा आता है आपका ये जो प्रोग्राम है ये वो मेरी जो मेरी अंडरस्टैंडिंग थोड़ा सा वेबिनार मेरा निकल गया था ये आपका पूरा ऑनलाइन होगा 
तो जो आप टेस्ट वगैरह जो करवाओगे वो लाइक हमने किसी भी लैब से टेस्ट कराया और जो टेस्ट हुआ वो आपसे शेयर कर लिया राइट एंड देन यू यू सी ऑल द टेस्ट रिपोर्ट एंड देन यू कम टू सम कंक्लूजन and on the basis of that you will recommend ki what we are supposed to do what we are supposed to eat how matlab yahi sab cheez hoga na program bilkul and it's just not about what you have to eat it will be a lot of changes in your lifestyle also jo aap easily kar sakte ho hai na and again jaise jaise aap implement karoge aap khud dekhne lagoge ki aapki body kitni beautifully respond kar rahi hai ठीक है दूसरा है तीसरा कंपोनेंट है सप्लीमेंट्स का भी अगर डेफिशिएंसीज है तो हमें सप्लीमेंट्स देना होगा बॉडी को ठीक है अगर आपका स्टमक ठीक नहीं है तो उसको भी एड्रेस करना पड़ेगा सो so, अलग अलग कंपोनेंट है जिसको जब हम कवर करेंगे होलिस्टिकली देन बॉडी को पूरा सपोर्ट मिलता है ये जो आप प्रोग्राम करोगे इसके कई सारे पार्टिसिपेंट होंगे तो इंडिविजुअली सबका प्रॉब्लम जो होगा वो अलग अलग होगा Assuming that you will group the all the all thyroid patient ya autoimmune wale thyroid patient ko aap ek saath le aate ho, right? So one to one aap kaise manage karoge? Kis time mein you give also? Rashmi ji, बहुत बहुत simple सी चीज है. Program के दो हिस्से हैं. एक है group sessions, okay? जिसमें सिर्फ हम information share करते हैं आपसे. आपको बताते हैं कि भाई thyroid की problem क्यों हो रही है? इसके लिए हमें क्या करना है? गट की प्रॉब्लम क्यों होती है उसके लिए हमें क्या करना है राइट दिस इज कॉमन फॉर एवरीबॉडी द ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस और एवरी पर्सन इज पर्सनलाइज उसका ग्रुप से कोई लेना देना ही नहीं है प्लीज मेरे को बोलने दीजिए मैंने आपको पूरा टाइम दिया राइट जब जब पर्सनलाइज आप करेंगे तो उसमें आप वो भी ऑनलाइन होगा या हम मिल सकते हैं अच्छा सपोजिंगली भी मैं जैसे दिल्ली में भेज तो आपसे मिलना चाहूंगा कैन बी मीट नो वी डोंट सजेस्ट दैट या द एंटायर प्रोग्राम इज डिलीवर्ड ऑनलाइन रश्मि एंड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम यू हैव टू कंसल्टेशंस वंस इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द प्रोग्राम एंड वन टुवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम सो देयर आर टू वन टू वन कंसल्टेशंस एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सेशंस जब हम फिर मिलेंगे during acha yeah. if i apart from these two hmm. consultations and the group sessions hmm. you are part of a whatsapp group which has hmm. us and the other members of the team nutritionist etc clinician etc where hmm. any questions you can ask they will be answered if hmm. you have questions which are more personal you don't want to ask in the group group uh, you can also ask them uh, directly uh, you know you will have a contact person in the team you can reach out to them on chat or if needed you can even set up a time to call and speak with them one thing if you are traveling and we can't attend oh the webinar then miss madhu ji aap inse apna time le lijiye mera bhi main kitni der se aap bole chale ja rahe ho these are not ethics in the group try to understand that okay sorry i'm leaving the group thank you uh sudhar ji i'm sorry yaar maine thoda sa harsh bola but uh, anyway uh kya kehte hain Uh, मैं ये जैसे ज्वाइन करना चाहूँ तो uh, जैसे मेरे रैशेज हैं तो आप कैसे देखेंगे उसको बॉडी में रैशेज वगैरह वो तो यू कैन सेंड अ फोटोग्राफ फोटोग्राफ से क्लियर टू यू यस ओके सी वंस अगेन प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द होल अप्रोच ऑफ फंक्शनल मेडिसिन इज अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द रीजन व्हाई द रैश इज हैपनिंग व्हाट आर द इंबैलेंसेस इन द बॉडी नहीं बट तो रैश कितना बड़ा है कैसा दिखता है क्या कलर है दैट इज नॉट सो इंपॉर्टेंट इन आवर अप्रोच ओके तो तब इंपॉर्टेंट होता जब मुझे आपको क्रीम देनी होती डायग्नोस करके कि ये इस तरह का रैश है इसके लिए ये क्रीम चाहिए या ये वाली गोली चाहिए राइट right? अच्छा तो योर रीजनिंग विल बी बेस्ड ऑन द टेस्ट रिपोर्ट होगी ना जो जो टेस्ट your yeah, symptoms and test reports symptoms and test reports okay okay thank you for that thank you okay uh anushri shruti you can unmute yourself uh yeah this shruti here uh, i'd like to think this so i have two specific question not sure if this is the platform but i would just uh, like to ask uh when you say uh, auto immune issues uh, do we get to understand from the antibodies uh, whether uh, you know there is a sure shot this is genetic issue cannot be solved with functional medicine and uh, uh, these are certain uh, issues which can be cured based on the uh, reports do we have that uh, sure shot segregation as such okay so or see, is it purely uh... yeah go ahead complete yourself yeah. 
yeah so basically i understand there are a couple of antibodies like uh, antibody rnp antibody rola all those uh, when you are ana positive that gets tested so in this any one of them gets positive i want to understand if uh, based on the results will you be able to make out this is a short shot genetic issue cannot be cured with functional medicine or you know uh, based on the functional medicine ka test report we will tell you whether it can be cured or not okay so, so that so is one segregation i would want to understand okay yeah so i'll answer this uh, so the first thing we are not doing any genetic testing right so uh, of course in our reports we we will not get to know whether you have a genetic condition or not the whole the whole perspective is that it's the science of epigenetics which decides whether disease will be manifested in our body or not okay and this epigenetics is about the kind of environment we are exposed to you may be born with the best genes but if you are exposed to the bad environment bad food bad lifestyle the good genes will not turn on but they will be turned off okay whatever well, that you are born with bad genes but if you give it the right environment bad genes will not turn on okay that's the epigenetics and that's what we do now it doesn't matter which opportunity you have we look at various markers of autoimmunity we look at various markers of inflammation a, a, a name of an autoimmune condition is just about which organ it is impacting it does not say anything else about anything else the root causes all boils down to the inflammation in your body and the triggers of of inflammation so we need to address that and that's what we do in the program okay so second is uh, very pointed and specific to my case i have already got all the nutrifit uh, nutrifit test and uh, other uh, all the toxin related tests that done with uh, fmd like your center i also have my ana reports uh, rnp positive but my rheumatologist has clearly mentioned that this is uh, more of a genetic issues with uh, sun exposure uh, this has triggered and uh, functional medicine might not be able to do much help here so i need somebody to guide me from your end whether see for me to enroll i want to now understand whether this is first of all curable uh, with the reports like only if uh, this can be taken up in an fmd kind of a, a pathway then i can Uh, it will be worth for me to invest and take it forward Absolutely. but i'm quite confused i have all my reports but i don't know to take the next step whether to take okay. or not so what solution so, you have offered if not if if we cannot help what solution you are being offered the only solution is i have to go on the, the medication go for a remission and once it is done then maybe uh, control my for having this sunday food and not to do that and all that okay right so basically it's an immune so let's understand it this way if you uh, like you already see your markers are positive right and they are inflammatory markers there's there's no way that uh, a marker can tell you that it's you know whether you have it uh, because of your genes or because of anything else okay so it's absolutely wrong to say that you know this is entirely because of the genes and, and no treatment can help you in the entire webinar we have just been causing about the root causes behind every chronic condition there is a root cause if it was genetic uh, how old are you shruti you are you 30 28 34 34 right 34 genetic why did it take you 34 years to manifest no that's because of the pregnancy it got triggered and uh, just got activated okay so exactly so there are certain certain trigger points right so when you have when you are genetically susceptible right there are trigger points so that's what i said you you're born with certain genes and it's this, it's the epigenetics which decide whether the genes will be turned on or turned off so if we work on that right conditions we can work on turning off the genes yeah just just to kind of reinforce that message i want to show you is this okay these are identical twins they have bear the exact same genes okay you look at these their faces and you you can you will know right one person has been conscious they have been leading a decently good lifestyle not eating junk food not too much alcohol smoking etc and the other one has lived a you know wanton lifestyle you can see the difference right all kinds of health issues she has not just i mean the face is looking uh, sad but all kinds of health issues okay a very famous case which is you know uh, kind of 
shared in the functional medicine uh, circle so essentially what is happening genes are turned off or on by your aggregate experience what we eat drink say do think feel imagine and believe and this process actually begins in the womb okay what you think believe what you eat drink actually impacts the child's you know which genes will get activated which will get deactivated and that's exactly what dr ruby was trying to explain the genetic code doesn't change okay, okay. it changes as you know the first point point less than 0.1% in 10000 years or more but we can change very easily which genes will be expressed and which genes will be dormant okay i hope that helps you understand our perspective yeah that helps uh but then my next question is to be are there any positive uh, we cured or not but i don't know like again are you so shruti for any treatment consistency is the key we won't say in 3 months you will be cured of it in 3 months you will start seeing your health improving amazingly and you will see yourself on the right track mm -hmm. or you'll see yourself uh, your health moving in the positive direction okay uh it and uh, mm -hmm. you know for for complete recovery it takes somewhere between 6 to 9 months and even after that the efforts have to be sustained so basically the the recommendations become a part of your life got it yeah yeah thanks okay any other questions um hello can i just ask a, yes please is like general question like i do understand like fm after joining fm fmc for my son like i have seen a lot of positive changes in in my son and like my question is now since i we are all i'm already in the group for my son like do i have to again re enroll for 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 myself in this other group is that correct in my understanding yes that's right that's right masuda so what you are already enrolled is the learning disorder program for your child and this is a different program this is the hormone reset program so if you want to enroll for this you'll have to enroll for this program okay so i go then um and then we go through all those process what we that's have right. done okay Similar. thank you yes yeah okay uh, um asim you have a question in between can i put my question uh, yes sir yes. uh, so i have two specific question one is uh, i mean it's very uh, i'm very curious to know because i have been taking homeopathy medicine to take care of my uh, fibromyalgia and i got results also and uh, so i wanted to know because two years i i took it for one and a half years it got cured and i think because the stress level increased now i am again feeling those changes you know so i have again asked for the medicine so my question is does homeopathy cure thyroid because it was cured in my case and i am not on medicine i was taking 25 mcg but i am very curious to know does it really work or is it like you know i'm 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 actually putting myself at a risk that's what my question is <clears throat> it definitely works uh shikha ji it's amazing it's a wonderful system of uh, you know medicine however it's a very uh, complex system also the kind i mean it's very difficult to actually be able to find the right medicine for each patient okay that is one part of it the second part is so for example thyroid right we had a couple of slides where we explained so many of the uh, complex interconnections and root causes which can lead to thyroid imbalance and other issues with thyroid function if you don't address any of those underlying causes let us say nutritional deficiency or inflammation is the root of your thyroid problem now you take homeopathic medicine and your thyroid function improves wonderful but if you haven't addressed the root causes what is the assurance that the problem will not come back again or what is the chance that those root causes will not lead to other health issues later on right 
so in that context we i feel that the functional medicine approach is actually much deeper because it equips you it it teaches you it tells you how to address the roots of those problems and then when you address the roots the healing the body will anyways do on its own mm. because it's been like i think more than 2 3 years i have stopped taking that medicine because the doctor said you don't need to but i'm always you know i i am really scared that i hope because i'm no, so sure so you should not be scared for sure uh, okay uh, because by being scared you are actually inviting more problems mm-hmm. you know the slide that we spoke about stress and all stress right? yeah. mm-hmm. you should definitely not be stressed but you should consciously try and address the root causes and again shikha if you are just assuming that because your thyroid reports are coming normal yeah, so yeah. you do not have any thyroid condition anymore but that's again a very narrow perspective of looking at thyroid disorders because again the lab ranges are very broad and actually the optimal ranges should be very narrow and that's what how we look at reports and second um, the autoimmunity should be always be ruled out out when it comes to autoimmune conditions Uh, so sorry, sorry when it comes to thyroid conditions and in many cases there's something called the subclinical hypothyroidism which basically means uh, your report looks pretty much normal but then when you when you look at it through the uh, fun- functional lens it's it's actually you know it's subclinical hypothyroidism because you have all the signs and symptoms of thyroid disorders but then your lab reports look very normal not showing yeah because you know that's also a problem because the lab reports also vary very The lab reports vary. That is one thing, Shikha Ji. They will anyways vary. Okay, mm-hmm. it will not be you know static. Obviously, numbers will change. But what we are trying to say is that the reference ranges are not necessarily connected with health. Mm-hmm. They are just the statistical average of a population. Let's say ten thousand people do a thyroid test, and you know with certain calculations, the you know two standard deviations on both sides of the median. Mm-hmm. is where you actually draw the upper and lower limit right yeah. so in that whole process there is no uh, importance being given to health or to actual optimal optimal function of thyroid right absolutely so that's yeah. a very different understanding of understanding these uh, numbers actually Mm-hmm. so this is what so i i don't know and that's one question i had the second question i had was regarding weight loss because if somebody wants to enroll for weight loss because obviously weight loss is also an issue wherein it is associated with many other factors so do you guarantee any weight loss is it or is it going to happen with the treatment because you know i am asking for a friend of mine who has to lose those weight and i know she has other problems also and you know it's it's a vicious cycle for her the weight loss is not a disease weight loss is a symptom of functional imbalances absolutely absolutely right yeah and the two main things in that are actually thyroid dysfunction and once again the thyroid might be within the range but again that range is not doesn't mean anything much actually or it can be insulin resistance okay these are two most common reasons for weight gain and inability to lose weight so again once again if you address the root causes you will lose weight okay so theek hai that's fine that's what i wanted to know thank you yes nakshi yes i wanted to know what is the line of treatment for lupus so lupus again nakshi it's an autoimmune condition and uh, many times infections play a very important role in, in lupus especially in the fungal infections the parasitic infections they play a major role uh, as one of the root causes of lupus along with the other root causes like heavy metal toxins uh, nutritional imbalances poor mitochondrial function etc so the line is the line of approach is similar what we spoke about we will have to look into the signs and symptoms uh, based on that advise the relevant investigations and then do a root cause analysis and the tools uh, to address those root causes will be the right kind of food the right kind of lifestyle the uh, the right kind of supplements the right kind of um, you know other mechanisms so that you know we can help the body to recover okay thank you so much all right so uh, i hope we have answered all the questions any other questions हेलो मैम यस सॉरी मैम फिर से डिस्टर्ब कर रही हूँ आपका बताइए वो वो हम मैंने जो दीदी के बारे में बोला था ना वो वो आपसे सवाल करना चाहती है प्लीज आप उनका नाम एक बार पुकार दीजिए असीम असीम बोल के असीम खान बोल के असीम जी बताइए आपको वहाँ पर 
यहाँ पर नहीं है ओके आसीम इज दे उनको अनम्यूट करना होगा मुझे सर हाँ जी वो बोला है वो पता नहीं कहाँ ये हो गए मैं आपने नाम भी पुकारा उनका जब थोड़ी देर पहले अभी तो नहीं दिख रहे मीटिंग में अभी तो नहीं दिख रहे सो so, मुजस्म आप उनको आ, आप अपना नंबर छोड़ दें या आप उन, उनका नंबर दे दें हमारी टीम कांटेक्ट कर लेगी हाँ जी ठीक है ठीक है आप उनका नंबर दे दीजिए ओके थैंक यू मैम सॉरी फॉर डिस्टरबेंस नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू इफ यू इफ यू आर इफ यू हैव एनी फर्दर क्वेरीज प्लीज लीव योर क्वेश्चन सो दैट आर टीम कैन कनेक्ट विथ यू and uh, we look forward uh, to you know to some of you to uh, you know to get started with the program so that we can help you be healthy and vibrant again kaati want to add anything no that's all i'm really happy that you know all of you had so many questions it means that you are thinking out of the box right only if you start thinking out of the box you have a chance of reversing your health issues and we'll be glad to be part of you know to support you in that journey we look forward to that yes <laughs> yeah thank you everyone have a have a great weekend thank you thank you we'll close the meeting now